Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So... You do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here... yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Received. 
loud and clear. Okay, Gatecrasher. Your turn. It's time the aliens and the rest of the Advent Administration learn that we can hit them where it hurts. So we're moving into the city center to strike a high-profile target. Deploy and approach the designated position. Neutralize any hostile contacts and secure the site. Venice 1-5, we have a fix on the target. Move to place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charges. That our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Commander to the research labs. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit, a device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. 
Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Without access to refined fossil fuels, power is difficult to come by outside the cities. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents, recovered advent equipment is highly coveted. Commander to engineering. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. What do you know about these gene therapy clinics, Doctor? They seem like a big draw for the cities right now. Having worked in one of the facilities, I can tell you firsthand. They do offer a level of medical care unmatched by any previous effort in our history. The aliens have effectively cured all of humanity's greatest ailments. Cancer, malaria, AIDS. The process is relatively simple. As long as you're compliant. Yes. The price of admission is acceptance of all Advent policies. For many people, that's hardly a consideration. A minor inconvenience, at most. I'm beginning to see the appeal. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Commander, we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. New course. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. 
Commander. As the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Readings indicate that Advent just powered up some kind of psionic transmitter in this area. And if they're assuming no one knows about it yet, it shouldn't be that well guarded. If we can take it down quickly, Advent's operations across this entire region will be in disarray. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Got some advent here. Objective located. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. <laughs> are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. That transmitter is history. Good work, Commander. Like jealous children, these radicals seek to strip us of the wondrous gifts provided by the Elders. Though we might pity their ignorance, we will not allow such incursions to remain unchallenged. Today's setback is the prelude for tomorrow's victory. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. New objective added. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. You are too trusting, John. 
The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. Actually think they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. The Reapers and Skirmishers have been at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting point strictly need to know. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of Advent resistance. Still, keep your eyes peeled. It's been about 20 years since we last stepped foot in this place. Proceed to the first set of coordinates. Firebrand and the second team will head to the next drop point. Detecting increasing biological signatures in the area ahead. I'd say we're in the right place. Stay sharp out there today, people. Just because this city was abandoned doesn't mean it's lifeless. If you are hungry, there's more where that came from. Impressive reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. We're all friends here. You are safe here. More so than you imagine. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this! Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. In the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. 
We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Damaged and dormant all these years, these devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. If you say so. No more time for regret. We are not alone. Those things. They still look like people. What was human died years ago. Only the taint of the alien survives now. Where there is one, more will follow. You must not hesitate to destroy them. <laughs> Creature's DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. Though why anyone would subject themselves to that, I cannot imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Check it before you get too close. Extraction point is close, but looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. We will make it to your pet advent in time. That's a long run. Multiple threats eliminated! Biological readings in your general area are clear. No more creatures on approach. For now. Then let's not linger here. Head to the evac coordinates now. An entire city of our own people left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. A momentary victory. Others are surely on the way. We must keep moving. I am on watch. Scanning! 10-4. You should have a clear path through now. Second squad is already en route to Mox. Proceed to the rendezvous and await their arrival. Oh, we'll be there. Looks like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. Stay focused. Contact! Get down! We may have a bigger problem here. I'm guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crunk thought. Advent. Hobbit. Vox Tala. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drunk Tim. The lost. Our meeting point is still secure. She is free of the imposter gods. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your reapers. Now, we must go. Rendezvous with Outrider is further ahead. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. 
Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the Skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. as ordered. No need to ask twice. It is under my watch. been liberated. May their lives not be lost in vain. We must push forward and complete our mission. Works for me. Move out. Purifiers may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. The lost. The sound of combat excite them. They are drawn to it. And you just blew up a fuel truck? There was no other choice. Find an alternate exit. We will deal with the lost. Draklar. Dashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. An apt description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing enhanced speed and agility, with a corresponding increase in aggression. Tactical movement. reverberated throughout most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction from the lost. The only reaction I will accept from them is their deaths. Find us that face. Target eliminated! Position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. That whole area is hotter than we thought. Gonna need a little more time. Think we've got something here. Just need another minute. You have your minute.
found a new route that should get you to the rendezvous point safely. The Lost are still converging on the area, so make it fast. That will not be a problem. Solid copy. Moving out. Outrider and the first team should be waiting for you ahead. I know this wasn't the easiest stop, but I have to believe it'll still be worth it in the end. That depends on the Reapers. Rendezvous point directly ahead. Let's try and play nice today, people. So, Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the Elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. face another like her. They are the undying, Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Your Reavers face a being such as this? They appeared without warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> Such arrogance. The Elder's will extends throughout the universe. I am but one of their instruments. Okay, I'll go! So many have already fallen. And yet my work is never done. This looks a little ugly. Grasp at the frayed edges of your life. I guess that'll be okay. I had not expected this conflict to be so accelerating. You surprise me, XCOM. Still, the Elder's will is that none survive this day. I cannot leave that to fortune. The sonic dispersal waves emitting from that pod are crisscrossing a massive area. Meaning that thing just rang the dinner bell for every remaining lost in the city. An accurate assessment. The entire lost biomass seems to be converging on this position. Then let's get you all the hell out of there. Firebrand's en route to the evac coordinates now. Get moving. analysis of these creatures' movement patterns reveals an almost coordinated attack strategy. Perhaps they're not the mindless automatons they initially appeared to be. An intriguing, if not horrific, possibility. I'm coming for you! How many 
many of these creatures can still be in this city. Advent has been sending purifier squads into these cities for years, yet somehow the lost survive, even thrive. We do not know why. <sighs> when this city stood whole. Still, I feel revulsion at what happened to this place, to these people. I believe you. people take back this place for our own. If they are all like you, that is a likely possibility. Detecting additional lost converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise caution. It would seem the lost are on to our strategy. It is the Elder's will that this alliance fall. It will take more than mere loss for that to happen. in position, but the evac zone's even hotter than we thought. Running out of time here, people. Tell her to hold as long as she can. We will be there. The entire swarm converges upon us. We cannot hold this position much longer. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? intend to die this day. I will follow. Fox Tala 410. Resistance factions presents an intriguing opportunity to study the varying means of survival they each employ. We may have chosen years. different means of resistance, but our people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation, or die trying. Your pathetic attempt at subterfuge has failed, and now one of your soldiers is my captive. The Resistance factions can help us locate our captive soldier if we deploy on a covert action alongside them. Once more. 
sounds to me like they're afraid. <sighs> you dare defile this place with your wretched tongue? Oh, I dare. Commander, we've just made contact with a new faction of the Resistance known as the Reapers. They're an elusive bunch, but this is their headquarters. We can scan at this location now to start benefiting from our newfound cooperation. So this is the Commander. Dragonova spoke highly of you and the rest of your team. Trust me, that does not happen often. You are all welcome here. I will admit I had some concerns with this alliance of yours, but from what I hear, this skirmisher, Mox, was captured protecting one of my own. Reapers have long memories, Commander. We will honor our end of the deal. Volk, out. Your tenacity could prove your undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight with me, I hope you are truly ready to match my skills. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification... Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's... global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crum radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, the gun incoming on approach! Your signal's breaking up. ...territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you! Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again! We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there! With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace. And prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Commander, we have a squad. 
squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Now that we've got the aliens' attention, they're taking it out on one of the Resistance outposts in the area. We're heading in to secure the camp and protect as many civilians as we can. Eliminate all hostile forces attacking the site. Make them regret coming after the Resistance. One of those chosen is leading an assault on the Resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Shifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. It's dead! At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. secured the remaining civilians and there are no other hostile contacts on the scope. Good work out there. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. Glad to see our new recruits aren't hesitating when it comes to taking out the aliens. You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. Commander, combat against the aliens day in and day out is no easy task. And eventually the stress takes its toll in various ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. Just as you are driven to free your people from the perceived oppression of the Elders. The burden of honor instilled upon me since my creation drives my service to the gods, regardless of their intention. Commander, we have a mission available that's reliant on time-sensitive information. We can always finish our scans later, but failing to take on this mission could have serious repercussions for the Resistance movement. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Our friends in the Resistance have helped to pinpoint the location of our missing soldier. Commander, we've confirmed the position of the soldier being held captive by the Chosen. We now have an opportunity to launch a rescue operation. Commander, if we're gonna win this war, we need to take every chance we get to fight back. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations, which requires special planning and preparation. Commander, it looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. It took some work, but we now have a positive confirmation that our captive soldier is being held in a high-security Advent detention center in this region. If we're going to pull a rescue off, 
Our best approach is to go in quietly, without alerting the massive number of security forces defending that installation. The latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible. If the enemy spots us, this is going to get a whole lot harder. Roger that. No need to ask twice. Got it. We have Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander, but as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high alert. We should hold back unless we have the target, or it's an absolute emergency. Attempting to gain entry. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Time to move. They've got our position. Multiple targets neutralized. They're bringing the in reinforcements. The compound has reached maximum alert status. They put out a distress signal and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. executed and no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. This is the headquarters of the Skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Commander, I believe it is time that we meet. I am Betos, first of the Freed Advent. You are safe here. Praetal Mox was new to our cause, but he believed. In our people's freedom, in this alliance, in you. Commander, I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready, should you need them. May our people stand united, and all false gods fall. All skirmishers, all those freed from the Elders' bonds, are eager to hear your orders, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. 
All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. We completed our research in remarkable time, These magnetic Commander. magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Commander, if we intend on discovering the purpose of the chip we extracted from you, we'll need to conduct the appropriate research as soon as possible. Commander, the resistance forces we just contacted in this region have provided us all the intel they have on the Chosen actively working in the area. So come to strike at me. I eagerly await your arrival, Commander. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. There is no shame in admitting my admiration for your resolve in the face of insurmountable odds. I was born of battle, of a desire to face my enemies in combat and surrender to no one. In you, I see a shadow of my own creation. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. 
What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. To make the first move. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, and we can move on the Advent Black Site on your order. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. I'm guessing security will be tight at the facility. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. Contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black Site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're gonna find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. We've confirmed the Black Site is in your immediate vicinity. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. up the Chosen Assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. They got me! Consider yourself lucky. Most would not survive such a strike. It's fitting that we meet on the field of battle. I have no intention of quibbling over ideologies. This world is a prize for the taking. It only requires that I recapture you, Commander, and remove any trace of your resistance from it first. That's one of the Chosen. Heads up! We There is no 
no shame in their defeat. They know nothing of their actions. It looks like the Chosen knocked one of our soldiers into a daze. We need to get someone over there to help them get back on their feet before that thing can move in and attack. How many are you willing to sacrifice to save this one? Let us find out. Okay, I'll go! The elders will not allow me to die in this world. We will meet again. We showed the Chosen that the Resistance is here to stay, Commander. Now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good. So many victims. Processed with such brutal proficiency. Test subjects for some sort of weapon, perhaps. Looks more like a refinery to me, Doctor. Once we get our hands on that sample, we'll know for sure. Acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. At least we know these chosen can be killed. Well, temporarily. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Site facility, I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. Having now seen the inner workings of the Black Site facility, the outcome is perhaps even more troubling than I had expected. It is clear the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. New objective added. The aliens are relaying a form of encryption behind anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. Our work is proceeding as expected, Commander. Spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship.
Menace one five, situation critical. Primary Avenger systems are offline and hostiles are moving to engage. Shen, any updates? Commander, we've got a critical system failure. The Avenger is dead in the water. I'm diverting reserve power to the scanners and they're picking up a powerful radiation source nearby. We need to locate and destroy whatever it is disrupting our systems. We may have a bigger problem, Commander. We're picking up heavy comm traffic. Dozens of Advent transports are inbound on our position, and they've got battleships in tow. The aliens are sending everything they've got. We have to get the ship off the ground, or we may not make it out of this one. Move, move, move! Jen, what's our status? Whatever it was, destroying it seems to have lifted the disruption field. Engine control systems are coming back online. We should be clear to take off within 60 seconds. Commander, not all of our people are back on board yet. If we lift off now, we'll be leaving our troops behind. Commander, we can take off on your order. We should get the squad on board and get moving. I was born of the Elder's own power. Of their very essence, to serve as their greatest champion. For the gods have many children, but I am the true instrument of their will, and they instill in me understanding of their gifts that none other can comprehend. Time for us to finally take the fight to the Chosen themselves. Intel on this facility is almost non-existent. In fact, you may be the first human beings to step foot inside these walls. This may not be the most ideal situation, but it could be our only chance to take one of these things out. Good luck, and be careful. Okay, people. Stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today. No matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you will come further than any of your kind. Pride that your deathless day honors the Elders. before and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. Agreed. 
Perhaps you should take further time to reflect, Templar, before you find yourself outmatched. device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor, transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. You're all alone now. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that Chosen with everything we've got. As of right now, we don't have enough intel to get a solid bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. Setting course for the East African Sector. Shadow Chamber now operational. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. New objective added. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent Black Site. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences in near infinite combinations, yet all bearing similar genetic markers, human markers. There must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands, and the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from. By cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar. Just what exactly is in that vial? 
In my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. It's a high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. We're making another move against the Elder's pet chosen. If we can take another one of them out, it'll knock a huge dent in the aliens' plans for our world. We've been through this before, so you know it won't be easy. Stay sharp, be ready for anything, and take that thing out. to that stuff we found at the black site. Advent and the alien forces won't be happy to see us, so expect heavy resistance. We have to do whatever it takes to find out what's going on in there. This is Avenger. The facility is in range. Move to investigate. First it's human bodies. Now we're finding Advent. Something tells me they didn't abduct these ones. Looks more like a production facility to me. The configuration is different. Is it possible? Could this be where the Advent forces are coming from? Nothing is beyond the realm of possibility when dealing with the aliens. Bring it in reinforcements! How can that be? It's just like the one... Carefully! Preserve the specimen at all costs! Imagine the aliens are too happy. 
happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. Within the confines of the suit we recovered, we have found what could very well be the prototype for Advent. New objective added. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Mandarin. On the surface, yes. But in function. Ah, Commander. Excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code, predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid, mutine, even the species our soldiers refer to as berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. Screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. Time for us to finally take the fight to the Chosen themselves. Intel on this facility is almost non-existent. In fact, you may be the first human beings to step foot inside these walls. This may not be the most ideal situation, but it could be our only chance to take one of these things out. Good luck, and be careful. damaged. The regeneration process has been interrupted. I believe now would be the appropriate time to take them out. And you know what to do. Take that creature down. Got him. soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, 
It is well past the point of feeling hate. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new secret now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. I think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. <laughs> Accessing the power core, overriding my safety, increasing power levels to die and sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead of it. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. Objective added. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Central, Commander. Excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an Elder? Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration. Rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. and Tygen barely managed to pull these coordinates from that codex thing they had down in the shadow chamber. We're guessing this may be its origin point, but can't know for sure. Based on the fight it put up, I'd expect heavy resistance either way. Good luck down there. The target coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this definitely was What's the thing rift the Codex used when it appeared? This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. Something in the ground here! Something in the ground! 
out here. Who's keeping score? Confirmed. All hostile contacts in the AO have been eliminated. The gateway is secure. The distinctive alien artifact we recovered from the field resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it from New objective added. In order to analyze the alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first, Commander. Shadow chamber upgraded. Paid to do this. But you're the only one who can pull this off. You know I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. Set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through, okay? Whoa, are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. It doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. I feel that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished, perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. We have found. 
found our avatar. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the Psionic Gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the Gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an Elder Consciousness driving it, the new Avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way. By manipulating the new Avatar, via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. Priority message for the Commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, it's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an Elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar Project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy, a final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. New objective added. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. 
have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. Commander, once we move on the Advent Network Tower, it's all or nothing. We won't have time to advance our research or deal with the wounded. We should only deploy once we're fully prepared. Setting course for the Australian sector. Be aware, we'll be working with limited personnel for the next operation, Commander. If we're going to infiltrate the Advent Network Tower, we'll have to use a smaller squad. Try to draw less attention to ourselves than we already do. Sir, meeting limited resistance. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens, for 20 years we have put our trust in Advent, in the elders because we believed a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes, but so much more. This is an end to disease to decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow, available to all of us today. Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. There. 
I've infused this material with the entirety of our viable Elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. Watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. Did what was needed. You never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. And you're gonna end this. Humanity is counting on us, people. Okay, stay alert. No way of knowing if they detect our presence yet. Such love, such need is this waste. You force our hand, yet still we offer peace. Rejoin us, and your world will be spared. Astounding. This entire facility submerged beneath our oceans. For how long, I wonder? One problem at a time, Doctor. Our form is but a shadow of our truth. We seek to defy that which would consume us all. Your efforts deny the surface of the You leave us. I believe we are past the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but tired. It is time to accept the path laid out before you, Commander. Return to us. We will not have to against this world. It can be so once again.
Defensive strike. Time to deal with these issues when we get back. We deny our creators. Changing position. You've got a plan B here. Nice work. Was it anything on my end? This shouldn't even be possible. Unless... Commander, whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Just make sure you save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. happening here. 
here, Doctor. It's the Elders. They're overwhelming our link, enveloping the Commander's consciousness. Then sever the connection! We do that, we risk a complete overload. We will claim what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. Heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way. Finally come in from the cold. Brothers and sisters, welcome home. Our time is short. We want but a battle. 